we are going to open again on a gap to the upside and overnight inventory is uh, stretched to the upside we are now trading around the highs so it would be very interesting to see an early attempt higher and a failure and if we look at yesterday's <coughs> trading we can uh, see that upper part of the s well I, I, c I will call this a double distribution and until this low holds uh, then there is nothing bad with uh, with the structure however it will be mm, entire overnight range mm, but maybe it is uh, needed some kind of balance before uh, we move higher uh, all-time highs are within a striking striking distance we can easily make uh, 20 30 points today I have some confluences around 3840 uh, which is weekly expected move is it is uh, upper band of Bollinger uh, bands and some measured move targets so it is quite possible it is also where uh, the call wall is and uh, big gamma uh, resistance which might uh, act as a magnet I, I suppose mm. and we are now uh, around the upper boundaries from this uh, value area we've established uh, in the previous week so it will be very uh, interesting how the markets behave around this uh, area if we make an early attempt higher that fails uh, it is so close to all-time highs that mm -hmm. I think it will be difficult to fight uh, this move but I think uh, I should give uh, two chances uh, for the shorts one uh, around overnight highs and another one uh, above this uh, high from Thursday uh, and I will be targeting uh, overnight uh, point of control either value point of control or time point of control mm. we have a gap which is uh, 10 points wide so nothing uh, substantial but uh, in case the gap uh, won't hold, uh, won't uh, be filled today, I think I, I could also look for an early opportunity to enter longs around this area. It is also pullback low from overnight session, mm, so this might be an area to enter longs if we uh, if we don't have a good excessive move around the highs uh, so mm, for example if we make a weak high against uh, overnight high or against uh, Thursday's highs uh, if we fill the gap and bounce uh, I think it is also uh, worth taking a shot uh, to the long side targeting uh, well volume point of control and then uh, overnight highs mm, I, th I think this spike base shouldn't be uh, marked as an important level because overnight trading is uh, affecting more uh, today's session than this area mm, so anyway if we if we start building uh, prints above uh, overnight height then I'm not uh, willing to short anything basically until uh, 3840 to be safe maybe if, if we 
make a late rally uh, against like eight wide point of control but uh, after th Thursday and Friday we might see some dropped shorts that, that are going to puke if we start trading in this area so we might see uh, another squeeze higher if we start printing double prints within the gap then uh, I think there is good chance we might feel it and then I I won't be uh, looking for bounces uh, right away but uh, I'd like to see more rejection from this area uh, we can easily bounce from uh, volume point of control and if we do that uh, I will be looking to enter longs on a pullback looking for rejection from yesterday's uh, range so uh, until basically this area holds I, I will be looking for uh, buying pullbacks uh, getting back to the middle of, of daily range and if it breaks then uh, I'm not sure well there is one more scenario uh, worth playing if we start building multiple prints within uh, yesterday's range uh, then I think I should enter potential short trade if we for example bounce from overnight lows then look for shorts targeting first uh, point of control and then uh, value area low and uh, 75 area which is uh, basically uh, lower part of this balance we, we've established um, overall I think that we might see a similar profile to yesterday uh, with value developing higher if if the value is to be overlapping we, we have to break entire overnight range which is uh, currently 22 points so certainly possible within uh, daily range but uh, sellers should uh, show significantly more than uh, yesterday in order uh, for this to happen.